Every three or four years, the debt crisis becomes a scary issue. What does it mean for our retirement portfolios? Stay tuned. So today we're talking about debt crisis. What's it mean? It means possibly the world's entire financial system could crumble if the United States defaults on its debt. Certainly a scary topic, but really at the crux of it, it is about a political agenda from the left and the right. It's a, it's a Congress thing. People on both sides of the aisle do not, in the bottom of their heart, want to end the world's financial system. They want to pay, play political chicken. And that's really what it's about. At the end of the deal, both sides will probably come together and they'll agree on something. At least that's what's happened in the past. Does it scare us? Is it fodder for the uh, social media? Is it fodder for CNNs and NBCs of the world to scare us? Of course it is. But what does it really mean for us? Let's take a peek. You know, we're talking about retirement. We're talking about making sure that we have a comfortable and confident retirement. So what really, besides all this political agenda, what does it really mean? Let's take a look at the last four um, debt crises. You Google it. Take a look at Google. You'll see four major debt crises. 1995, major debt crisis. Scary. World's coming to an end. What happened? The stock market went up 34% that year. 2011, Mr. Obama is uh, a new president. He's dealing with the debt crisis. I can remember as a young man being in Milwaukee at an investment symposium. I actually raised my hand and I said, Sir, Mr. Expert, Mr. Wise Sage on investing, what does this debt crisis, this impending debt crisis mean for our portfolios? And he said, look, son, it's really not going to be a big issue. What we see every time is that the market kind of stumbles, the market gets a little bit volatile. But at the end of the day, like I said earlier, Congress gets together. That year, did the market crash? No, it actually didn't lose a penny. The last two uh, debt crises, we've seen the same thing. Market has gone up and the last two debt crises. So we're sitting here today in 2023, and what do we see? We see that maybe there's going to be another debt crisis. We don't know what the future holds, okay? To sit here and say we know that the, the market's going to do exactly what it did for retirees, again, that would be silly. But what we can do is look at the past and use it as a gauge. What I tell clients, my retirement clients, when they call me or they come into the office, I said, let's go back to the basics. What are the five rules that we have for retirement portfolio? Number one is income. Does this impending debt crisis change your income? The answer is no, because we put guarantees in place to make sure that there's income. We want to continue to, of course, keep fees as low as possible, keep taxes as low as possible. We want to set up our portfolios to try not to underperform. But point number five comes back to the debt crisis issue. It's about not getting emotional. So when it comes to a debt crisis, look at the past as a potential guide for the future, but know that you have a 30-year financial plan. And this is going to be a bump, and there's going to be another bump down the road. Stick to these five guiding principles and don't get emotional when it comes to a debt crisis. Seer Financial Wealth Advisors for a confident retirement. We're fiduciaries, we're CPAs, and we specialize in being your financial partner. Want to stay up to date and see more videos like this? Just text FOLLOW to our number and receive all of our retirement tips and financial insights straight to your phone. And be sure to check out all of our past educational videos right on our blog 